Hello there, guys and girls, and welcome back to your Chelmsford City playthrough of Rags to Riches. We've got an FA Cup third round qualifying match here today. I was going to leave it a little bit longer before we come back to the save, but I thought if we are going to have a bit of an FA Cup run, or at least try and have a bit of a giant killing if we do get round to the first round, or even the second round of the FA Cup, uh, we need to get through our qualifying rounds first, and I thought it would be nice for you guys to see us get there. Um, I have played one game in between. That was a one-all draw against Maidstone. Quite lucky, if I'm honest, to get the draw with an 85th minute equaliser. We was quite lucky. So we need to work on our attacking play and maybe need to look at bringing in a winger or two, uh, depending on, of course, what the st scouts bring to our attention. Now, I've just gone through the scout recommendations and offered some trials out, so we'll see them come into the club next. Quite impressed with the season tickets that we sold, to be honest. 330 season tickets sold for me in, well, non-league. That seems a lot, 330. Can't complain. Finances are doing quite well. Just under the wage budget, so we can't complain. So overall, it's going okay. Obviously, we have only just started. Um, we have got this youngster in our youth setup. 16 years old. And he looks quite good, doesn't he? Five-star potential. Two-star current ability. I might move him up to the senior squad, you know. Give him a couple of games and see what he's like. On £5 a week, we can't go wrong, really, can we? It's not as if he's breaking the bank. Uh, especially on that <laughs> wage budget that we've got. So this is the starting lineup that I think we're going to go with in the FA Cup. Let's bring these trials in. Um, obviously, depending on who wants to come to us. Let's bring them into the club and let's have a closer look at them. So we've got an 18-year-old here midfielder. One and a half stars. It's not all about the star rating though, as we know. Obviously, they've only just come in on trial, so we're not going to get anything here. We'll have a look at them. Maybe once we've gone through these games, we'll go back to that. Okay, guys and girls, so we've got our first game of today's episode. Like I said, it is a third round qualifying match in the FA Cup. We are going to see what we can do. We're going to change the team around a little bit. We are going to go... Obviously, at the start of this season, we're going to try and keep rotating the squad as much as possible but I do also want to get a good core understanding of how we're going to play the formation we're going to play and who's going to play there so we need to do just enough rotation to keep people fresh without causing too much of an issue so your lineup for the third round qualifying match is Lee Wogan in goal Mike and Spillane at right back Oli Odaya at centre back with Cole Kepala at the other centre back position you've got Elliot on left back Cameron James at centre midfield in the holding role, deep, deep lying playmaker. We've got Ches Isaac in the box to box midfielder role. Jackson on one wing, Gary Harrison in the middle, Adam Morgan on the other wing, and Adam Liddell up front, which we know from previous games how deadly he can be. Hopefully he can have a little bit more of an impact in this match. In Maidstone's game, he was very, very quiet. Hopefully he can be a little bit more of a threat and a presence. Obviously we're the favourites in this game. We are playing a team that is in the lower divisions than us. So I'm going to motivate the guys and just hope that that pushes it through. Realistically, we want a nice performance after the Maidstone uh, draw. Don't get me wrong, a point is still a point on the board. But really, if we are going to go for our aspirations of trying to get promoted in our first season... We need to be winning our home games and make the Melbourne Community Stadium a fortress. And just like that, Ches Isaac into the back of the net. 1-0, Chelmsford City. Let's look at the highlight. The fullback there completely misrides the fight of the ball. Jackson picks it up. Beautiful ball in. Isaac with a Frank Lampard-esque run into the box. Gets it on the end of it. Puts it in the bottom corner of a header. 1-0, Chelmsford City. You notice as well that we're training our tactic as just attacking. Oh, as I say that, we concede. It's now 1-1. One, one. The back, the net didn't even ripple there. I don't even know what happened. I thought that went wide. Who's picking who up? Ah, oh, it's Liddell. Completely missing the run of the player. No, it's not. It's Isaac, number eight. Goal scorer. And doesn't follow his run. Can't be doing that at set pieces. Especially in our division when... It is such a threat from different set pieces. You put that ball in the box, 
quality of some of the centre backs. You just don't know what's going to happen. So we've got a free kick on the edge of the box. Whips the ball in. Liddell with the header. Saved by the goalkeeper. Pushes it onto the crossbar. Ball gets recycled. Backed out to Isaac. Goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, so like I was saying, you may notice that we're training and mainly just playing attacking football. And that's just because I want to take the game to the opposition as much as possible. I want us to be in their face. I want us to keep pressing them. I don't want to give them time and on the ball. With that, the ball into the box. Centre-back gets onto the end of it. Actually dinks it into the into the goal. Doesn't go for the over-dramatics. Does what he needs to do. Controls it and puts it into the back of the net. Great ball over the top. Cool as you like. Just past the goalkeeper. Doesn't make himself big enough. And it goes back to 2-1 Chelmsford City. Mm, you could say that that was gone in our favour there. Looks like we're going to have to make a half-time sub. Gary Harrison is starting to blow. And we don't want him getting an injury at this start of the season. We need to try and keep as many people fresh as we can moving into the later games. Obviously, at the start of the season, we are going to have fitness issues. That is a common thing. And there we have it, that's half time. Chelmsford 2, Bowers and Piley go in at 1. There we go, and that's half time. Currently leading 2 1. Gonna tell the guys that we know it's going well, but we can go even better. Things are going well, but we can do better on the ball. We can make the most of our chances. We had seven shots on target, 50% possession. We're gonna bring off Harrison now. We've given him an extra five minutes after half time. We're going to take off Harrison for Tom Beery. Bring Isaac up the pitch and put Beery into the position that he likes. I'm going to let him move up the pitch a little bit more. At least we've got the flex flexibility now. Free kick on the edge of the box. Isaac puts it in. Jackson with the header. Oh, gets knocked onto the post by the goalkeeper. Great tackle by the fullback there to recover. And that's the end of the highlight. Centre-backs are starting to get tired with again. We don't want to have any issues here. So we're going to bring Elliot Ward on for O'Dwyer. We're going to keep it as it is for there. The best thing about when you're playing the FA Cup is you get to choose seven subs. In the league, we're limited for five. Our other centre-back is, to be fair, everyone's starting to get out of shape at the moment. Spallini puts the ball in for Liddell. Or just wide with the header there. No nonsense clearance there. Jackson with the ball. Plays a perfectly weighted pass through to Liddell. Liddell's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Oh, and he's just missed. Just gone past the post. That's the type of chances that he needs to be finishing. He's normally so deadly in front of goal when he's missed an absolute sitter. There was calls for the Ballon d'Or for him this season. Not with finishing like that. Not with finishing like that at all. So wind down the clock. We're just going to make one other sub. Going to bring off Cameron James on for Anthony Church. Just another holding mid for a holding mid. Wind down the clock. Really, we should probably take this off. We'll drop it down to balanced. We'll put the time wasting up. We'll drop the tempo down. A 2-1 result. It's not the best, but it's a win. And that is us through to the next qualifying round of the FA Cup. So we're going to point a finger, tell them that was a good win. Realistically, it wasn't that great, but we want to start building the confidence up and keep it going. Receive 5.62k just for that, for a qualifying round. So Gary Harrison, our young breakout star, hopefully wonder kid, never know, five star potential. Maisie's debut, youngest ever chance of player now, 16 years and 360 days. Maybe he'll be one to watch in the future. Who knows? So we're going to bring you our second game with Dorking. They've just recently got knocked out of the FA Cup. So they may be licking their wounds. But before that, we're going to have a look at see who we get in the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. We have got an away tie to Chorley. And Chorley are in the Vanarama National League North. So the same equivalent league to what we're in, but the North 
uh, variant of it rather than the south that we are in. So it's not going to be an easy tie. It's on the same playing field as us. It's going to be something that we need to look into and obviously make sure we get that win. But before that, we're going to have a few league games that we're going to need to play before we get to the fourth round uh, of the qualifying round. Actually, no. So let's tell a lie. We've only got one game after. So we may squeeze this game in as well, to be honest. Rather than playing this, then coming back in the next episode, we'll do the Dorking game. We'll do the Chorley game and then I'll play some of these games just so we get a little bit of a break in between as well. We're going to praise Chez Isaac for his training and we're going to come underway with the second game of the save against Dorking. Okay, so this is our starting lineup for the game against Dorking. Very similar, to be honest, than the FA Cup game that we've just seen. We'll go from goalkeeper to striker. So we've got Lee Wargan in goal again, Marcus Blaine at right back, Oliver O'Dwyer. Cole at centre-backs, Elliot at the left-back. We've then got Cameron James and Tom Beery in midfield. Jackson on the wing, Ches Isaac, Tom Wright and Adam Liddell up front. Let's hope that Adam Liddell can have a little bit more of an impact on this game. Didn't really do much in the FA Cup game. Hasn't really done much against Maidstone either. So really, we are looking for a performance from him. And because of that, we're going to specifically speak to him. We're going to pump our fists and not tell him that we've got faith in him to make a real impact on today's game. We're going to encourage the guys. We're 10 minutes into the game. We need to start making some shots. We have not had a single shot or a shot on target as yet. Winning the possession game for now, but we haven't got any shots out. We need to start producing some more in this game. So far, highlightless. We've got a highlight late on in the first half of the game. Tom Wright with the ball into the box. Just goes wide with the free kick. Arguably, probably would have been a better idea to put it in. But they've got a corner for Dorking. In the last arm, we've, we've conceded in the last minute of the first half from having a set piece on the edge of their box. We've gone to concede a corner. The defender's lost his man. And Wargan's, Wargan's basically tapped it in his own net. The guy on the post has put him off there. We're going to thrash our arms. We're far from pleased. We want to see something different. We should be beating these teams. This is the type of team that we should be beating. Wright picks up the loose ball from Liddell's header back up to him. Brings it infield into James. James controls it a little bit into O'Dwyer. Ball over the top. Liddell into Jackson. Back across. Flashes past the post. A couple of inches to the other, other side. That would have been in the bottom of the net. Isaac with the ball into the middle. Isaac's there. Jackson's put it in. What a, what a cross. I think there was a bit of confusion between the goalkeeper and the fullback there in terms of who was going to come and get the ball. No one's come out. We'll see that again closely here. The right back plays it to Isaac. Isaac brings the ball in. But, oh, the goalkeeper actually goes for it and the fullback completely misses it. The fullback thinks the goalkeeper's got it there. We capitalise and we get the game back to 1-1. Is it going to be the third consecutive draw in the league for Chelmsford City? It's not the type of form that we want for the rest of the season. We're going to look at making some substitutes. We're going to bring on Harrison. Mm, do we bring on Harrison? Isaac's not too bad. No, we're not going to bring on Harrison. We are going to bring on Church for James, though. And we're probably going to bring on... No, that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to work. We're going to keep the wingers on. They're, they're, their fitness isn't great, but we haven't got any other wingers on the bench. That is an area that we need to try and improve if we can. We're going to keep it as it is. We're going to encourage the boys try and get that winning goal we need to go go all out really for it we're going to bring it we're going to increase the tempo as we can see their teams also on the fitness got a bit of a visual budge hit bug here i don't think that's fair can't hardly see some of their players ball over the top rubber brings it down he is offside though we are saved by the offside flag thank god for that 86 minute played. No more highlights at the moment. Last four minutes. Let's go very attacking. Let's throw everything at it. Let's see if we can get the winner. And that will be it. Full time. 1-1. One, one. 
Dorking won, Chelmsford City won. We're going to tell the boys that we're not happy with the performance out there. Last time we said we wasn't too bothered. This time, we're not going to be as nice with it. We need to start putting points on the board. Tom Wright's picked up an injury. He's out for one to two days. That's perfectly manageable. That's not a problem at all. We've got, obviously, the next game against Chorley. What I'll do is I'm going to skip it forward. Once I get to that point, I'll come back and I'll show you the game itself. Okay, guys and girls. So we are back with the next game against Chorley. It is the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. If we win this, we are in the first round of the FA Cup. Hopefully, we can get a nice away tie to a big team. Well, I say a big team, a team from the leagues above us. The team is going to stay relatively the same. We probably will bring in a couple of other players just to try and obviously lessen the load on some of the wingers. This Tom Wright is struggling with fitness. He has only just come back from injury. So we might swap this around. We might put... Have a look. We haven't really got any natural right other left wingers. This is the problem. We only have right that can play on the left wing. Tom Wright's going to have to soldier through for the first half. We need to try and make an impact early on. We don't have any other left wingers. That is something that we need to focus on. We don't have any trialists that have come through the last batch. None of them were good enough to even look at signing. Maybe we'll look into the loan market and we'll try and find our, try and get our scouts to look at some loans. That's the main thing we're going to need. So the team is going to remain unchanged from the last game. Exactly the same players in the exact same formation. Get some consistency going. That's the main thing we need. We need to get the consistency done. We need to try and drill in the way we want to play with the roles, the pressing. Once we start confirming exactly how we want to play, the results will start coming through. However, we need to start training it. But more importantly, we need to start picking up the results as well. In the FA Cup, in the qualifying rounds, we've not done too bad. But let's not kid ourselves. That has been against lower position. This time, we are playing someone who's sort of on the same level as us. They are doing quite well in the Vanarama National North League as things stand at the moment. So let's see how we do. Good hands there by Lee Morgan. 13 minutes in. Two, one shot on target each. First highlight goes to Chorley. Currently the Chorley team are looking very unhappy with the feedback they've received. We're just going to gently encourage the guys. Just let them know. It's 25 minutes in. We're still part in the game. Let's try and get a foothold in a little bit more. We are losing the possession game as things stand at the moment. It, to be expected, we are the away team. Is a cup competition. Quite a lot of fans come out in force here. No, I wouldn't recommend. Wouldn't reckon you would get this amount in no, normal national league game. Newby takes it past the wing into Price. Price out to Shenton. Need to be pressing him a lot quicker there. Was saved by the post. O'Dwyer puts it out for a corner. I'm going to see the highlight of the corner. Newby puts it in. O'Dwyer again. Rock at the back. Isaac chasing after the loose ball. However, we will not see if that materialises into anything else. 42 minutes played. A couple of highlights. Nothing important at the moment. Two shots on target each. It's 55 to 45 possession at this moment in time. Let's give a little bit of encouragement to the guys. We're not doing too badly. If we concentrate, we can win this. No response. Just looking composed. Got a free kick in the D. Long ball in. That was just a that was just kick and hope. That was wasn't it? Goalkeeper plays it straight out to our centre back into Isaac into O'Dwyer. That's what we need. We need Isaac picking up in the pocket. Liddell with a very audacious attempt there of a backwards header. Again, the goalkeeper kicks out straight to our centre back into Jackson into Isaac. Back to Spl Spillane now on the right. Gives it away straight away. Long ball up the pitch. O'Dwyer will recover the loose ball. Highlight's going to continue. James into Jackson. Back to James. Isaac. Beery. Lovely ball out to Tom Wright. Tom Wright puts it in. Liddell's there. He gets his head on the end of it. It's his fourth goal of the season. 1-0 up. 1-0 to Chelsea City. Let's see if we can hold on. Some great build-up prey there by Chelsea City and the lads. 
stringing a beautiful few passes together. That ball out there is an absolute peach. Brings it in. And Liddell, basically, just from the six-yard box, headers home. Goalkeeper's got no chance with the pace of the ball. Got a highlight straight from kickoff here. Lever plays a long ball forward. James intercepts. Beery plays it out to Tom Wright again. They've linked up perfectly this game so far. Wright with another ball in. Liddell's there. Oh, the header just goes over the bar. Goes out for a goal kick. So, 60 minutes played. No more highlights since that chance a second ago. We're just gonna, we're just gonna tell the guys to focus. We're one nil up. Let's focus on the job at hand. Let's not go too overboard. Let's not go into any silly tackles. We don't want to risk anything. We are going to bring Philip Roberts on, and we are going to drop Ches Isaac back and bring on the youngster Gary Harrison, so he can make his FA Cup debut. We are going to keep an eye on Cole's fitness there. He probably will need to come off at some point. We'll wait just to see how this highlight plays out. Cole there is not following his marker. The goalkeeper Wargan makes a great save. Bails us out there. That could be due to lack of fitness that we're showing at this moment in time. We may have to take him off in a minute. Great save and safe hands again. We are going to make the change. We're going to bring a fresh pair of legs on. We're going to confirm the sub. Bring them on. Phillips has just come on. Don't forget Isaac into Harrison. Again, just come on. Off to the right back. Harrison picks it up. Great composure on the ball. Passing it around for fun at the moment. They can't even get near us. They don't want it. They're not even closing us down. They just don't want this. Our boys are a lot more hungry at this moment in time. James plays it out to Isaac with a brilliant ball through to Jackson. Peach is in. No one's in the middle. There's not a single player following that ball through. Lovely ball over the top into Liddell. Oh, great save. It would have been offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. But it was a fantastic save by their goalkeeper. A hope, a very hopeful ball there. That was going nowhere. Long ball play for by the centre back. Cardwell just completely annihilates the defence. Luckily, Wargan's there again, playing a great game. 7.2 rate, 7.3 rate, and now he is having a fantastic game. We're going to drop it down to balanced. Mm, let's see what happens here. We was going to change a few things. Oh, it materialised into nothing, so that's fine. We are going to reduce that, reduce the tempo. And put time wasting on as well. Try and see out this game. We've got a corner on the it. Oh, and they've equalised. In the 84th minute. No one's marking at the back post. Look at that. Someone's marking, but they're just not getting ahead of their... They're just letting their runner get gold side of them. Let's see what we can do. The right back has just thrown it straight to their player. What is he doing? Just throw, If you ain't got no options, just don't throw it to them. Newby down the wing. Crosses it in. Someone stop that. Oh, and Warren gets a hand on it. But it's gone in the back of the net. Simmons with a powerful header and he's put it in. All from a throw in that we could have just thrown it up the pitch. Newby makes us look silly there. Simmons... We're going to have to go for it now, aren't we? We're going to have to go very attacking. We're going to have to put Jackson up alongside. No, that's Robertson. Jackson up alongside. Bring Harrison out to the wing just for now. We've got Newby running at us again. And when he runs at people, oh, luckily, fluffy shot there. Let's see what we can do. Five minutes of added time. We know we need to score. We're going to demand more from the boys in the last few minutes. Is this the FA Cup run coming to an end? It is. <sighs> All from the right back. He, sh he just threw it straight to his feet. <clears throat> they played well. We're going to say we can't fault them. We are, however going to talk to him tell him we're not pleased we can't be pleased with that can we it's j he's thrown it straight to the straight to their player he didn't even hesitate he didn't even take time on the throw in he just oh, straight to the feet 
Ah, still got 3k for it. Defeat in the fourth round of qualifying. Would have been a beautiful story getting a cup run. If you look at the competition, oh, we're sitting down in 16th. We haven't lost any. Played three, drawn three. So we need to start getting some points on the board. We're going to get the scouts to start looking for some for some wingers and just see what we can do. Let's have a look at our scouted players, what we've got. Have we got anything of any quality that we could bring in that would actually want to come in as well? That's the other thing. What We, we don't really want to be paying that sort of wage, do we? Not in this league. We ain't really got the budget to start paying for wages. We might have to accept that we're going to have to pay out some decent money to get what we want to get. Great player. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there anyway. We've seen the three games. We need to start picking up some points on the board. Currently sitting 16th in the league. It's not good enough, especially with the club vision of reaching the playoffs. We've already failed in our target of reaching the first round of the FA Cup. We, could we have done better? The right back definitely could have done better. And needless to say, the board are disappointed with their recent performance. But we'll have to see what happens, won't we? At this moment in time, there's not a lot we can do. Maybe we'll look for a senior affiliate club, see what comes of that. But what I'll do is I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next episode. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.